Daniel, Evan Bella Adam, inclusion. So this year we sponsored a little league baseball team, majors, Spring Valley Little League Blue Jays. And season's over, regular season's over. So we're having a pizza party for the kids. And this is what we're here doing today. So we're gonna give awards, t-shirts, and just uh, celebrate a, a really good season because we had a lot of fun. Um, I had a lot of fun coaching and I know the kids had a lot of fun playing. Should be delicious. <laughs> Kingston, number what? Zero. Number zero. Oh, hi. Is this guy? That was that? When we first got here. Oh. And then we moved to the family. Alright. You guys hear me? Yeah. Just want to say, uh, uh, we had a great season. We went, what, what was overall? Uh, three, three, four, three, nine, and one. Yeah. Three, nine, and one. Yeah, so I'll take it because last year we were one and 15. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for coming out. Um, I had a lot of fun coaching the team. So, real quick. Um, we, we have a nonprofit and the message is inclusion, okay? And inclusion applies to everything. It, it applies to my daughter with Down syndrome. It applies to Brooklyn playing on an all boys team, okay? It applies to uh, you, it applies to everyone. And so our message is to uh, really uh, bring awareness for the need of inclusion of everyone because everyone in some way, shape or form uh, has been kind of left out in the past or at some point in their life. So that's what I want to say about inclusion, all right? And so we sponsor the team. We made a small donation to uh, Spring Valley Little League. And then we do try to give out shirts and, and do things like this for, mostly for the children, right? So Evan Bella Adam, my children, Evan Bella Adam is the name of the nonprofit. I've been in the process of trying to change the name, but it's taking me like a year. And I don't know why, but anyway. So we made some uh, awards, um, some of these, uh, every every kid's gonna get an award, and um, it's uh, just basically what stood out to me during the season. Okay, so the first award goes to somebody that's not even on the team. The top prospect. Top prospect. Coach award. Daniel already scouting for next scouting year. Scouting for sure. The top prospect was a great brother. He uh, let his brother borrow his catching gear so he didn't get hurt when Davey went throw his balls at him. Yeah. And that goes to Colton Stickup. Colton! This goes to a kid who used to hit fastballs up here with his gigantic lumber bat. I'm pretty shocked that he had a 481 batting average. Good job, Davion. For our silver bat award. The most outstanding rookie of the year. So our rookie of the year, he helped on the outfield. First time playing baseball. First time playing baseball. I stuck him at third. He got some bruises, he got some bumps, but he was there all the time. Jude. Yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at the camera. We're gonna blast this on ESPN later on. <laughs> this award goes to um, someone who's, all, who's always just focused. And I just felt like he never really got rattled. Uh, he was very dependable during the whole season. And he's a good all around. Uh, baseball player, and uh, I feel like he has the heart of a champion. It goes for Kingston. Last year. Hold up your award, Kingston. So this one goes to uh, 
uh, Ethan for having the highest slugging average percentage, uh, 759. Just uh, his first time playing baseball, but obviously has a lot of potential. If he sticks to it, he can be uh, just as good as I was at, <laughs> at some point in life. <laughs> Golden Glove Award it goes to a kid who we stuck at shortstop, catching, did a good job, started framing, and, and he, he did a little bit of pitching too, not as much as I'd like to, but Jay did. <laughs> Okay, we get the leadership award. This should be for the one kid who asked me to pitch every inning of every game. <laughs> Just willingness to do it all. And she <laughs> got it right this time, huh? Yeah, that's the last game I remember. She surprised me when we wanted to um, make sure all the kids had cups. <laughs> I have never coached a girl before, and I did not know about that little scenario, so <laughs> you taught me something very well. Yeah, so <laughs> Our leadership award goes to Brooklyn. <laughs> this, this next award goes to uh, someone I may have put too much pressure on from the very beginning, because I told him he was my number one pick during the draft. I just see a lot of potential in him. But come to find out, he's he's also like one of the kindest people in the world. <laughs> um, Hunter, where's Hunter? All right, Mr. Clutch Award for clutch performance under pressure. I believe he hit a triple yesterday, right? Yeah. First triple I've seen him hit. He was running hard. He was when he got the third base with me. Oh, he was sucking wind. He was so. Out of shape. I was like, "Come on, kid, you're better than this." I, I've never seen anybody fall behind in the count more and then come out with a hit. So, and that goes to Alvaro. Alvaro. Yeah. All right, last. Uh, this one goes out to the highest on base average for many reasons, for walking, and for also getting hit the most, right? Get up there. This one goes to Evan Ceballos, my son. All right, we got our assistant coach of the year award. Yes. We all here by given to, for his commitment and basically being a shepherd in the dugout, trying to get these kids out in order. Also, we have the most improved player of the year award. It goes to Christian for um, always giving it a good effort. And we have the uh, silver, ball, silver ball award to Remy for always displaying the heart of a winner. Uh, always staying focused and and trying his best. So we appreciate that. Sorry, we uh, sorry you guys aren't here. Though. I'm gonna stock it up. What's that shirt looking for, Ethan? Next time, let me steal a couple more bases. Okay. How's the season? It was good. It was fun. Yeah, fun. We all did you good. Anything to say? Hi. Hi. Anything about the You're season? killing me, Smalls. Thank you. Yes, uh, I just want to thank the coaches and parents for a uh, uh, great season. Hope to see you guys next next season. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, coaches. Anything? I'm glad going to the playoffs. I'm just going to sit here, man. You know, the team worked hard this year. Uh, I'm really proud of Jude for working hard and um, really putting himself out there with baseball and his first season. Um, I love hanging out with the boys and stuff like that. Sure, it does get a little bit crazy sometimes, but yeah, I do like it. Um, best season yet, so. Hey coach, can I ever go to your house for juke practice? Yes, you can. Yay. You come to my house anytime. Thank you for coming. See you guys. Enjoy the, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Uh, <laughs> Hug again.